Hello everyone, this is Manikanta. Welcome to my channel Manikanta Initiative. So today our topic is abacus. Yes. What is abacus? Most of the most of them know I think nowadays it become a trend in everywhere all over the world. Abacus. Abacus the word it came from the Greek. Though the Greek people have invented this abacus when around 2500 years ago when there was no calculating device for them so they have invented the abacus at that time and now why we are using it was invented very long when there was no calculating device but now we have a lot of calculating devices yes but what is the use of now for us now to use abacus yes it's a good question now the why we are using means the answer is the answer is nothing but it is a brain development program abacus is a brain development Program. So with the help of this, we can develop the mathematical calculations to move faster without help of pen and paper, we can do mental calculations. How we will be solving this now? Yes. Let's see how to do that. And with the help of this abacus also, we are going to gain so many things like memory power, concentration, listening skills, logical thinking and judgmentation skills also. So first, before going into depth of that, so first we will see what are the parts of abacus how it is going to help and how to count the numbers on that and how to add and subtract yes first we will see what are the parts of abacus this is an abacus teacher abacus this is called a teacher abacus and the abacus what we are using is nothing but the japanese methodology that is called soroban we are in india we are, we are following japanese technology that is called soroban why we are following the japanese methodology because we have ordered two methodologies one is chinese and one is japanese chinese methodology like number system is different that is hexadecimal number system we never learnt hexadecimal number system that's why we are not following chinese abacus and we are following japanese abacus because japanese number system and our number system both are same that is from 0 to 9 yes now this is a soroban the japanese model so this is called a teacher abacus or a to our trainer abacus so the outside one what we can see here black one is called as frame of abacus and there is a line here which divides abacus here into two parts so this is called as unit bar and why it is called unit bar because we can see some red color dots and regular intervals these are called as unit dots that's why this bar is called as unit bar and there are some vertical black color lines they are called as rods and on these rods we have yellow color one mounted on it these yellow one are called as beads and down the unit bar we have on one rod four beads and above we have one bead the beads which are present down the unit bar are called lower beads or earth beads and the beads which are present above the unit bar are called upper beads or heaven beads yes now these are the parts of the numbers. now how to count the numbers the dot here is nothing but what is it unit dot is nothing but the unit splits yes these are called the unit splits so if I start from here, if I select this dot as my starting position unit place, this is my unit place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands, ten thousands, and so on we can take. And in abacus, addition means when the beads touch to the unit bar, upper or lower, when they are touching to the unit bar, it is called addition. And when they are moving away from the unit bar, it is called subtraction. They are called subtraction. And the value of each lower bead, the value of each lower bead is 1 and the value of each upper bead is 5. The value of each lower bead is 1 and the value of each upper bead is 5. Now let's start counting the numbers and how to add and how to subtract the abacus beads. Always the lower beads are added with the help of our thumb. We will add the lower beads with the help of our thumb finger and we will subtract the lower beads with the help of our index finger. And we will add the upper beads with our index finger and subtraction also with index finger only. Yes, these are the very important tools why we are using these two fingers because these two fingers nerves are directly connected to our brain and vice versa. So that's why we'll be using these two fingers only so that our brain gets stimulated when we use these two fingers. These, these two fingers are very very important to use. Now let's start counting numbers. When there is no beat touching to the unit bar, the value of abacus is zero. Now, as I told you, the value of unit lower bid is 1. Let's start on the values. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the value is 2. Now, the value is 1. Now, the value is 3. When the price, I can remove everything. The value is 0. 
Now when I keep only the upper bit, it's 5. When I keep upper and lower, then the value becomes like 5 and after 5, 6. 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our number system is 9 is the maximum number and 0 is the minimum number of our number system. So in one row we can count 0 is the minimum and 9 is the maximum number. Yes. So when I want double digit, like this is unit place, this is tenth place. So 1 and 0. When I want to keep 25 number, how to keep 25? 2 in tens place and 5 in units place. Suppose if I want to keep like 75. So 7 here and 5 here. These are the how to keep the numbers on a backers. And suppose I want to do now addition. I want to do additions like suppose 23 plus 51. One. So what is the answer? 74. Now I want to do minus 62. So minus 6 and minus 2. So the answer is 12. Now, now one more question. The question is like 55, 21 plus 13 minus 75 minus 2. So what is the answer? It's 2. So arithmetical operations we can do it simple and even multiplication division. Multiplication, multiplication is nothing but repetitive addition and division is nothing but repetitive subtraction. So that also we can do with the help of a backers easily in a simple way. So these are this is the just basics of a backers. Totally we have a lot of levels, like 10 levels in a backers that can be learned slowly in an easy way. So these are the basics how to count the numbers and how to add and subtract easy way and simple way without any technique. So later on once we learn the basics we will be having like small friends, big friends, mixed friends. So once all these techniques are done we can do any question without help of Abacus. Once this technique is learned on Abacus then the student can visualize the Abacus tool in the mind and they can do it mentally. That is called them as mental maths. Let's see some more, more videos in the next videos. If you have any doubts apart from this you can comment in my comment section and if you like this please do like, share and comment and also subscribe to my channel please do support us bye